Hello everyone, Sire here. This is my next card, number three I believe, creating with the last card kit from Scrapping for Less for November 2020. Today is a very simple card and I decided to get back into these watercolors that we received um, in a previous kit. Um, so let's get started. I decided that I would grab these out again because I did have a lot of fun I can't remember which kit it was. Um, it had pineapples, that's all I can remember. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it, and so I decided to play with them again using some watercolor paper that I have in my stash. And I'm just going to dilute the blue and the, the red with a lot of water. Um, you can't really see it, but there's a glass off camera. And I'm just going to add a lot of pigment, and then I'm going to spray it with my spray bottle to spread it around. Right now I then will grab my heat gun and so this is going to be a process of using my heat gun um, and adding water and paint. If you saw just that second ago there was this little vial I was putting on it. That's actually some shimmer powder um, I believe it's called and it just gave it a little bit of sparkle. You won't see it too much at this angle, but when we start working on the card later, you'll see it. Uh, but it was such a fast moment, you may have missed it. Um, but anyways, the majority of it is me grabbing my paintbrush, going into that watercolor paint, mixing it and dabbing it, drawing it, whichever feels natural to me at the time. And I'm just going to keep spritzing and drying at the same time. Um, I'm not going for anything in particular. I'm just adding whatever appeals to me at that time. So that's what I would recommend to you. Um, if you'd like to try this type of technique uh, is just just do it. Just grab with our don't think too much about it. Just does something want to be added? Just add it. Um, so as you see I'm just grabbing some colors. I am mixing my blues and reds so that's not good but uh, I did was, wash that out. But anyways so just drying and adding and I really love how these things uh, how these papers turn out. Um, it's just this really neat effect, watercolor effect. It is a very dingy um, because the colors are mixing. If you did not want it to be di that dingy, you have to really dry the layers first, like I just did right now. Um, it was a lot more dry, so when I added the red, it stayed red. So just keep that in mind when you're playing with it. If you want bright, bold colors, you, you need to dry it a lot faster before applying the next color. So there we go. That is my final piece. That is what I just created using the watercolors. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to be creating more of those, maybe off camera, just in my spare time. I did have the idea of using this pattern paper before I had started uh, watercoloring. This came from the collection and I just really like that bold, it's almost like a magenta, I'm gonna say. And I love that pattern. And so although I did use bright reds and a blue, I was kind of hoping that the two colors would give me that magenta effect, but um, either way, I, I, I'm happy with how it came. Um, you can use any rectangular die you have. I decided to use a Spellbinder one that I had. It doesn't create um, a stitch mark or anything. It just creates a nice bevel around a frame, I should say, around the whole uh, uh, piece. So if you look up closely, you can kind of see it like a picture frame almost. And I'm not sure if you'll see it, but um, maybe in the still pictures you can. It's a really nice die to have if, if you're wanting something different than stitches. Just so you know, because I am using watercolor with a lot of water, um, this paper will warp tremendously. So I do recommend using double-sided tape and use a lot of it um, because it will lift. Um, so this will just make sure that it's reinforced nice and it will not come off. Double-sided tape is amazing for this particular um, job. It will warp my mat, um, which was part of the kit, I believe. Um, no, 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 sorry. I believe this paper did come from a different kit. Uh, in my stash. I'm now going to add some static powder because I will be using some embossing powder. So using my Versafine ink, and once again, I am, I'm really sorry I'm off camera. 
Um, by now you'd think I would be used to it, but like I said in previous videos, I just get so excited. And you, you might be able to tell by when I'm doing my voiceovers, I'm also excited. Um, my fast talking is just because I get so into it. And when I do, I, I totally go oblivious to what's around me. So sorry once again, but it is um, a dive or a, a stamp that was in the collection. And it says, family times are the best times. Really beautiful sentiment. And I'm going to add some clear embossing powder to that just to pop it up. Because it is a busy background, I do want to make sure that it does shine a bit. Let me see there. I could have stamped that on a piece of white cardstock and then taped it or glued it to the center. And I did try that with a different design, but I, I realized it, the white background is too much. It really takes away from all that fun watercoloring um, I did in the earlier. So I decided in this case, I would just stamp right onto the watercoloring and it didn't affect it. The, the, the embossing powder didn't stick to it. So I did leave it dry, let it dry, sorry, for 24 hours. And that seemed to be perfect enough. Once again, because it is warping my paper, I will add some more double-sided tape and I will just glue that and center it right into this white piece of paper. It looks like it's four inches by um, five and a quarter maybe, but I will be trimming that down because that white is a little too much for me. Um, I wanted to have that nice thick border, but it was taking too much of my pattern paper. So I will do a little cheat and I will just uh, grab my guillotine there and just not measuring it. I'm just going to eyeball it and just snip off a little bit from every side. Um, I guess it's not a cheat. It's just uh, what I meant was I wasn't going to measure it. I'm just going to cut away. And that is okay. We don't need to measure every single time. Sometimes it's just fun to wing it. <laughs> you, you could end up with a disaster, but it's all for fun. Um, don't worry about it. Just, just keep going. So I just trimmed very little off. Um, probably didn't even notice it that much, but I, I just want to make sure I saw more of that uh, busy background. I really like it. It's really pretty and I didn't want to lose it. I'd rather see that than more white. By now I do have a more thick layer, so I am just going to use my liquid glue. And the reason also I use the glue is because um, if you use double sided tape, it's not as forgiving when you try to put it down and center it. And because I am going to center this right in the middle, I don't want to make a mistake. So I will glue that also to the base of the card. Okay. And this is a four and a quarter by five and a half. I've cut it differently this time. Okay, so that is the card. I decided to play with some of the embellishments on this card, um, starting with the flowers. There are some really beautiful paper flowers. These two right here are really nice, match really well. But uh, I decided I didn't want to get into the flowers. I, I just wanted that I want that background to be my focal point and I don't want to take too much away from it. So in this case, I will just add some of these awesome, awesome matte um, white enamel dots. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to put these around on the card, wherever matches my eye, whatever, sorry, whatever looks good to my eye. And um, that, that would be it. Now I did create another card do, using the exact set exact technique but it is using yellow instead yellow and, and gray and I'll just show it in a second and I did create this one first however um, you'll see in the top there I'm going to point at it right there um, I didn't let the other one dry and I put it on top and I got a little bit red on it but it works it's it's using some pattern paper that I also got in the collection and I cut it into little triangles and just pasted it around but the technique is Pretty much the same with the watercolors um, and you can just do a lot of fun things with it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I had a tremendous amount of fun making them, getting nice and dirty and paint all over the place. I hope this created some inspiration for you. Uh, maybe if you can bring out some messy mediums, you can join in and create fun cards like this as well. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.